Hi hi, Genki Call here with a tiny tutorial first steps video for you. For you people that are just getting into the game, this is what you will see as soon as you finish the storyline at Broken Spire, the kingdom where we start off. You're going to unlock two new kingdoms. Well, you'll be able to unlock these two new kingdoms, and then you will also have access to the arena. At the end of this video, I will put a link, not a link, but a clickable box that you can click to go to um, how to do the re arena, which troops are the most powerful, and it will actually be really helpful for anybody that's this low level because it tells you the most powerful troops in arena it's also going to help for building teams um here at your low level there are so 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 many troops and um i finished the broken spire quest now i have two new kingdoms to unlock uh select either adana or zulkari la 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 so wait karakoth is here oh karakoth is not available yet see it's in red Oops. So what I personally recommend is that you unlock them both because when you unlock them, you get a new banner and the banner is going to really help with your team building the banners. I'll put a link to that tutorial as well, how to use the banners. Um, but you really want both of them. If you have the money, do yourself a favor, get both banners. As far as which kingdom you should do the storyline at first, I recommend Zulkari, and I will show you why. Tyree is the troop that you get from Zulkari, and then you get Spark Grinder from Adana. So let me show you what each of these does. So we've got Tyree. Tyree, oops, sorry. Unowned. Tyree is going to destroy gems of a chosen color, and that means they're going to be removed as if they were matched. So you can fill up your team with the mana that she's going to collect, whatever color you want. You're going to gain some gold, which is really great at low level, and then 20% chance to also get a treasure map. Now, treasure maps are something that's an entirely different mode of play, which is accessible through the games tab down here um, you have to unlock the ability to use it but once you do you'll be able to do a puzzle game in there and depending on how many moves you make you'll be able to get gems glory gold and trait stones and those are really valuable at low level and you're going to end up having quests to use treasure maps at some point so I think that uh, Tyree is more um, useful at low level than Spark Grinder. I will show you what Spark Grinder does. Whoops, whoops, whoops. S P R. Okay, Spark Grinder gives attack and armor to an ally. If the ally is met, give double the effect. You may decide that you think that this is more valuable, and at the end of the day, whichever one you like the most is the one you should go with. It doesn't matter, but do yourself a favor, unlock them both as soon as you can. As soon as you've finished the storyline, you'll have access to Divinion Fields and Karakoth, and it sh you saw it shows you a picture of the troop um, that you're going to be able to get. It doesn't tell you the name, but you can always ask um in global or on one of my videos any one of my videos you can ask what troop will i uh, will i get from doing the storyline at thus and so kingdom and i will be happy to answer that for you but anyway that is my recommendation unlock these go to zulkari first unless you like spark grinder better in which case go to adana but do definitely get them both unlocked i'm repeating myself i apologize for that Anyway, that is my tiny tutorial for you. If you have any questions, post below. I will be sure to put those video links here at the end of this video. You should see them popping up now. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.